Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schmillicoffer and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute here in downtown Chicago. And today's question is, why can multiple sclerosis patients benefit from a high fat diet? And let's first talk a little bit about multiple sclerosis and what it actually is. It is an autoimmune disease in which the cells or the myelin sheaths that are surrounding and insulating the axons or the connections between brain cells are becoming damaged. They're becoming attacked by the immune system. And so the immune system generally gets triggered by either food reactions, whether it be gluten or dairy or possibly eggs. Um, other things can be corn um, or soy, and it can be um, activated. And then there can be these mix or changes in the antibody structure that can then react to these oligodendrocytes or these cells that wrap the myelin around the axons. And so what we have is we have food triggers, we have possibility of environmental toxins, or also infections, whether that be viral infections or bacterial infections. There are a couple specific ones that are more related to, to uh, multiple sclerosis. But you have a, a bunch of possibilities that all lead to this overactivation of the immune system. And then the overactivation of the immune system causes damage to the myelin. Multiple sclerosis then leads to problems in um, efficiency of processing. So a lot of times people will get um, pain, people will get problems with their vision. So they get like double vision or problems tracking. Um, other things can be um, problems with their fingers like nerve tingling, uh, numbness, uh, dropping things continually. And it's all because of this lack of, this lack of connectivity or efficient connectivity between brain cells and then cells of the spinal cord. And so what we're doing here is multiple sclerosis, we need um, to not only take away those environmental triggers, take away that food trigger, um, and, maybe, and maybe fight some infections, but then also, more importantly, we also need to help repair the myelin that's being damaged. And so a high fat diet with good saturated fat, cholesterol, and omega-3 DHA, or docosahexaenoic acid can all be beneficial um, in reactivating this repair. And so I'm gonna talk about just a couple studies uh, showing this. Before we do that, I'll just show this oligodendrocyte that I keep talking about and what it actually is. And so we have here an axon or a neuron, let's say, with here's the cell body of the neuron. And then if this neuron wants to talk to another neuron, let's say over here, it has this long axon to connect. And the, the connection or this electrical potential is not very fast unless we have this fatty insulation, just like around an electrical cord, we have a fatty insulation um, around it in order to help move this more efficiently. So this oligodendrocyte is going to make these little, um, these little extensions out and then wrap around the axon to improve this connectivity. And so, a couple of papers I want to talk about are actually rat studies or mice studies. And so I'm sorry about that. It's, I just really like these studies and I think they did a really good job. Um, the first one's in 2016 and it's the interplay between exercise and dietary fat modulates myelogenesis in the central nervous system. So here it talks about how combining exercise training with a high dietary fat um, is improving the promotion or the, the making of myelin. Um, so they looked at mice consuming a high fat diet with this voluntary running for seven weeks. Um, and it showed increases in the abundance of major myelin membrane proteins, uh, phospholipids, which are needed, and also myelin basic protein also needed for um, making more myelin, all in the, in the lumbar spine or the lower back spinal cord. And so they saw that there was expression of a couple receptor, a couple uh, proteins, IGF-1, the receptor, IGF-1 receptor, that need, were needed to promote myelogenesis um, in the spinal cord during this high fat or exercise. Um, and so if we look here, despite the pro-myelogenic effects, so despite even though we we're getting these myelogenic or increased myelin effects with the high dietary fat uh, with exercise, 
high fat consumption with a sedentary lifestyle, so just you know not exercising at all, actually reduced the oligodendrocyte progenitor cells, basically the, the, the little cells that were becoming oligodendrocytes, um, and reduced mature oligodendria. So this is, basically shows that we need the combination of both exercise and dietary fat to increase uh, these antioxidant enzymes to improve the ability for oligodendrocytes to make more of myelin and wrap around those, um, those axons. And so I'll show you that picture here. So with a high fat diet, we increase IGF-1. This is just a growth factor to help with growth of these cells. And that can lead to more CERT1, EGC1-alpha. This is, these are for like antioxidant enzymes. And that helps with the mitochondria in these cells, which can lead to a homeostasis of myelin. Basically, not losing myelin, but improving it. Um, again, these antioxidant enzymes help improve the oxidative balance. By improving the oxidative balance, we don't have reactive oxygen species that are killing our oligodendrocytes. Of course, exercise does the same thing as these. Um, and so, of course, the high-fat diet with the fatty acids cholesterol helps improve this myelin homeostasis. Um, so that's one paper, just looking at more high fat. And again, it should be more DHA, um, omega-3 fatty acid, and saturated fats, because that's what the myelin is made out of. But then also we have cholesterol. And so here's another 2016 paper um, out of Nature. And dietary cholesterol promotes the repair of demyelinated lesions in the adult brain. Um, again, this is, a, this is a rat study, but they looked at Obviously, multiple sclerosis is this inflammatory demyelinating disorder. Um, and cholesterol is the rate-limiting step for myelin biogenesis in developing uh, myelin in the CNS. And so, again, if you don't have cholesterol, you're not going to make myelin. It's just not possible. So we need sufficient cholesterol. And this study looks at how dietary cholesterol improves that. Um, so there is a there's a model, a model mice or a model rat, um, that they're given cuprazone. This cuprazone model causes an acute disease which reduces serum cholesterol levels and it can be restored by cholesterol. And so uh, rats given this, this uh, cuprazone actually develop, um, actually develop demyelination. And so what they did was they supplemented cholesterol um, to look for the oligodendrocyte precursors and the proliferation that occurred. And this caused repair. And this led to the attenuated of the axonal damage, so um, less connections between neurons or brain cells being damaged, um, enhanced remyelination, and improved motor learning overall. And then they also showed that there is a safety um, of dietary cholesterol in inflammatory diseases, and that we shouldn't be worried about cholesterol in raising body cholesterol because we need cholesterol to make our sex hormones. We need cholesterol to make vitamin D, and vitamin D is important for reducing autoimmune diseases like MS. Um, and so let's go down, this had a really good picture here on how Cuprazone showed that there was a imbalance in growth factors of FGF1, FGF2, that led to block differentiation of these progenitor cells, which led to lack of remyelination. When you added cholesterol to the diet, that is going to normalize the FGF1, FGF2, so now balanced growth factors, we have increased proliferation of cells, we have a fast track to myelination and repair. Therefore, we have these oligodendrocytes that are wrapping the myelin around the axons. And so I just think this is really cool to show that, you know, people with multiple sclerosis, they're normally given, people with multiple sclerosis, they're normally given just a few options, um, anti-inflammatory medication, and then physical therapy to repair damaged areas in the brain and improve maybe that double vision or the tingling in their hands, the pain. But to be honest, there's much more we can do nutritionally. Um, first, starting with getting rid of the foods that are triggers for the autoimmunity, um, improving vitamin D levels, but also this, um, increasing cholesterol, uh, healthy dietary saturated fat from animal products, and omega-3 DHA. Again, healthy fats, not those omega-6 polyunsaturated oils that um, are, are processed in, you know, from vegetable oils. But healthy fats can help improve, again, with a exercise routine or 
or activating these, these specific neurons through neurological rehabilitation can all help the um, deficits that people have with multiple sclerosis. So I hope you really enjoyed uh, today's episode. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I would love to hear them. So please leave them below as well. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay healthy.